Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the February 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Well, let's go and jump in, Pisces, and get started. Um, in column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, the so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for February. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note. But again, back to this column number one, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. Pulling a summary affirmation card. We have the card, I am royalty. I love so much when this card comes up, Pisces. I think this is so special. It's just such a good reminder of our worth and our value. So I hope that you're feeling that and that you've felt that the last few weeks or month. But let's go ahead and see what messages we've got coming for you. Kind of a recap, reflection, validation of the last few weeks. Uh, first we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very healing, nurturing, supportive card. Um, so in addition to feeling like royalty, feeling valued and loved by those around you, I do think there's a good chance that you really felt some nurturing, some support. Um, also could be an indicator of some healing that's happened in the last few weeks or month. The next card we have is the Three of Coins or the Three of Pentacles. This is a card of collaboration. Um, this is also a card of teamwork, so again, kind of going back to that circle of support, that support we've been receiving, the nurturing we've been receiving. Um, the Three of Coins can also be um, focused on <coughs> excuse me, skill, quality, craftsmanship. So that may or may not resonate for some of you, but this could also be like a reflection of some of the hard work and efforts you've put in. At the bottom here, we have the Justice card. The Justice card, Pisces, is a card that's always favorable for you. This is a card of, um, it's like win-win solutions. It's cause and effect, like because you put in this effort, you receive this. It's also truth coming out, so you could have found out some sort of information. Um, but again, very favorable, very positive. Um, but again, cause and effect, oftentimes a reflection of our hard work. Let's go ahead and clarify, though, see what other messages we've got going on. The first card that we have is the Emperor. The Emperor is a card of respect, leadership, um, definitely very respectful last few weeks. Again, I think being treated very well by those around you. This could be a reflection of you moving forward to moving on to something or future planning. Perhaps like there's something that we healed from, something that we corrected now so we can move forward into the future. We have the Three of Cups on top of the Three of Cups. If you've watched my readings before, you know I love when that happens. Or excuse me, we have the Three of Cups on top of the Three of Coins. Um, the Three of Cups is that card of friendship, that card of circle of support. And then the Three of Coins is really that teamwork, that collaboration. So these cards pairing really nicely together. Um, in addition to the skill, quality, craft, the healing, whatever kind of completion has happened in the last few weeks, this could have resulted in a celebration as well as the Three of Cups is a celebration card. And at the bottom here... We have the Tower card. The Tower card is a card of unwanted change. Um, I always like to explain this as like A, B, C is what you had planned and D, E, F happens. So it's kind of uh, unexpected and unwanted change oftentimes. One of the nice things though about the Tower card is it's course correcting and it makes sure that we are heading in the right direction and it's where we need to be. The Justice card is again that truth card or finding something out, so potentially what you found out is not exactly what you wanted to hear. But it did seem like you had a good support system behind you um, and definitely heading in the right direction regardless. 
Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is just general what's coming for February. We have the card, I will hope. So there's something that we're hoping for um, going into February. And something that's coming to mind, so I wanna throw it out there, is like, don't lose hope on whatever this is, uh, Pisces. So make sure that you remain really hopeful throughout the month. But let's see what messages we have here. First up we have the Nine of <coughs> Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of nightmare, anxiety, grief, depression. Um, it's fair to say that there's something that you're anxious about, you're concerned about, you're worried about. But again, we can't lose hope. And we want to focus more on the positive outcome than these kind of feelings of angst or feelings of worry. We're going to clarify that a little bit more, but again, the message there, staying hopeful. The next card that we have is the Ace of Wands. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Wands, this is new project, new inspiration, new urge to create. Um, I think there's probably some sort of new opportunity and perhaps that's the thing that you're worried about. But we need to remain, again, very hopeful that this new opportunity, this new project, this new thing that we're creating, that it will come to fruition. At the bottom here, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is a card of being very hardworking, being very studious. Um, so again, keep that in mind. We have to stay hopeful and we need to stay consistent and continue working towards this new opportunity, even when we have these feelings of angst or these feelings of worry. Another thing with the Page of Cups, this is a card sometimes of new love, so perhaps this Ace of Wands could be a new love interest as well. If that's the case, I would say be hopeful about this new love interest as well, Pisces. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see what other messages I can provide you here with our clarifiers. Uh, first, we have the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. Again, Ace of Swords, though, is new idea, new mental clarity. Um, I'm hoping what this is saying here is so, again, on the bottom card with the Nine of Swords, this was a card of worry, concern, angst. Um, you're going to get clarity, which should ease some of that as well. But in the mid meantime, we want to kind of bridge that gap and stay very hopeful there. The next card that we have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a card of feeling like we're in a low spot, um, which makes sense as to why we are seeking this new beginning. It's like we're ready to move on, we're ready to get out of this position, um, but some of us are worried that we're kind of stuck. So these cards are piecing together really nicely, but again, the Ten of Swords is kind of a reflection of the current place and um, the desire to move away from where we're at. At the bottom here, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups has a lot of different meanings, but I want to focus in on this fourth cup. This is a card of surprise gifts. So um, <laughs> I always tell people, expect the unexpected, which I know is so silly and you can't do that. But I do think there could be some sort of surprise coming for this. Um, like, and for some of you, it'll just be the success of this new opportunity. Or if this is a new relationship, you could expect like a date night or flowers or something along those lines. So some sort of gift coming um, along with this new opportunity and this thing that you've been working towards. Okay, stay hopeful. Now, Pisces, let's move on to our next column, which is anything related to money. I got this deck of cards, which like tips, tricks, affirmations. In this case, you have a money affirmation. It says, I attract luxury into my life. Okay, so in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money. Think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, really whatever you associate with money, Pisces. First up, we have the Five of Coins. The Five of Coins is a card typically of worry. You're kind of having a worryful month, uh, which I don't love for you, Pisces. But when we have this and when we see this, we can kind of take this as a warning. So hopefully by hearing these messages, you'll be able to go into it with a little bit more insight and less worry. Um, but with the Five of Coins, again, this is worry, some sort of financial worry um, coming through here. We're going to clarify this a little bit more. I don't know that you're going to have financial issues, and I do want to be very clear on that. But again, 
financial worry potentially. Maybe you overspent money or something like unexpected popped up. The next card that we have is the Tower card. The Tower card is a card of unwanted change. So again, I think this could be like an unexpected cost that pops up. You're gonna be worried about it, but it's not going to make you poor. You're not going to lose your house over it or anything like that. So hopefully you don't have that kind of angst. Uh, but I think there is something unexpected financially that pops up this month. I always tell people with the tower card, we plan for A, B, C, and D, E, F happens. The nice thing with the tower card though is like, this puts us in a better situation in the end. So I'm just gonna like throw this crazy wild example out there just for example's sake. It's like, let's say the brakes on your car start squeaking and you need to get new brakes. And when you go in there, they like found a nail on your tire. So they were able to do your brakes and fix your tire at the same time. And maybe that prevented you from destroying the tire and then needing brand new tires on top of it too. So it's like almost like this happened in a good way. Um, you're in a better situation in the end, if that makes sense. So something unexpected popping up um, that you're going to be worried about. But again, it's not going to be huge. It's just some sort of, it seems like unexpected cost this month. The next card that we have is the Two of Cups. This is a card of partnership, proposal, marriage. So typically a love card. And I know we're talking about the money. So let's talk about the money meaning behind this card, focusing in really on partnership and proposal. Um, so what we're gonna talk about here is like partnership, be thinking in terms of like a new relationship, uh, coworker, mentor, boss, business partner, so potentially a new relationship related to money or career, or some sort of new opportunity. Maybe there's a promotion or um, a new job role you would be interested in, or even a new project for you to take on. So these two do feel associated, not so much the two of cups here, but let's clarify out and see what other messages we have here, Pisces. The first card that we have is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card of waiting. Again, for whatever reason, the timing of this is actually better for you. It doesn't feel great now, but it's like if it didn't happen, then it's like it would have been something worse. And that's such a weird message. But whatever this is that pops up, try not to worry about it. Just let it happen. Things happen. Again, it's not going to be huge. But the timing of this is oddly important. So just be aware of that. Um, this is also a card of having to, well, not having to, but sometimes making travel plans. Some of you could be concerned about travel or like if you'll have money to travel. I would say go for it though. If you are thinking about travel, the travel plans look really good. Maybe that's it. Maybe you like found a really good deal on a vacation and you're like, should I do it or not do it? I would say go for it. Again, it's an expense right now, but it's not like causing long-term uh, financial struggles or anything of that sort. Okay, the next card that we have is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a card of being very traditional, being very conventional. Um, it's a card of expectations. I think you, again, had a plan, A, B, C, and D, E, F happened. So this isn't what you expected. And at the bottom here, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so remembering these are kind of different, two different money messages, our top four cards and our bottom two cards here. The Wheel of Fortune, if you watch my readings before, you know it's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. It's a card of good luck, a card of good fortune, and it indicates turning point. First off, I think we might need a little bit of good luck coming off this, so I like to see the shift in luck for you. Um, but in general, this is like turning the corner into something so bright, it's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So there's a lot of meaning in this new opportunity and or this new relationship. And if you have been having financial issues or financial worries, this is a really good turnaround card for you. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. Similar to our money column, we're gonna pull a quick love message here for you. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love, love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to love. Think family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. Uh, first, we have our Four of Cups. We were talking about our Four of Cups earlier. This is still coming through as a surprise gift, so it's like flowers date night, a piece of jewelry, 
some sort of kind gesture. This could be friend, family, loved one, maybe somebody Venmos or cash apps you for coffee. Um, I just feel like there's some sort of love special gift coming in. Um, so I like this. So we're going to let that ride as a special gift here for you in the month of February. The next card that we have is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is very active, um, very creative. I feel like you need to do something active this month and it doesn't really matter if you're in a relationship or if you're single and I mean like actually physically active which seems like a weird message but it's like go hiking or go like walk a mall together uh, you need to like get out and physically move together. Again, that's such a strange message, but it's like get out and do something. Maybe you haven't had a date night in a while. Maybe you haven't had a yourself night in a while. Um, but the Page of Wands is saying to get out and actually move and do something. At the bottom here, we have the Seven of Coins or the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of waiting. This is a card of delays. There's something that seems to be coming a little bit slower than you would like in terms of love. So just be aware of that. Things are not going to move super fast in terms of love this month. Let's go ahead and take a look though and see what other messages I can give you. First up we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a card of freedom. It's a card of creativity. This ties in really well with what I was saying that you like need to get out. This is about being free spirited and enjoying and moving. So again, get out and do something in February as a couple here. Or single. Either way, get out and do something. The next card that we have is the Ace of Wands. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Wands, um, this is again, new project, new inspiration, new urge to create. This is like inspiring. Go out, do something. This pairs really well, the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands together. It's like that newness and it's very creative energy, uh, very inspired energy, very free flowing, um, spontaneous. Okay, at the bottom here we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a very, very good love card. Love to see when it comes up in our love column. With the Knight of Cups, this is like Prince or Princess Charming, Knight in Shining Armor, very romantic, very proposal-like. If you're in a relationship, this is a great card for you. Again, I think there's an unexpected gift. And then we have this like date night or super exciting couples activity. If you're single and want to be in a relationship, this is a great card for you. Um, all around really strong love card. I'm getting the message for some of you, this is like the love you've been waiting for. So again, nice love card there. Now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, Pisces. This is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card, I am chosen. This is like a, a destined card. This is something that's meant to happen. You're being selected, you're being designated. You are destined to complete something this month. But let's see what messages we have here. That flower is really standing out onto me that, standing out to me on that card. So some of you could definitely be getting flowers this month. But reading through this fifth and final column, let's see what messages we have here. First up, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant, again, is very traditional, conventional conformity. You need to break out of the normal this month and just do something different. Um, I don't know if this is speaking to love, I'm gonna clarify, but we need like a change of pace, a change, something out of the normal. You need to break up your schedule a little bit. The next card that we have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a card of communication. If you're bored, you need to say you're bored. Or if you want to do something, you need to say you need to do it. As, or that you want to do it. As much as we all like to think that we're mind readers, we're not. So maybe there's a museum or a restaurant you want to try or something. Uh, say it out loud um, so we can speak it into action. But it's like you need to acknowledge it or nobody knows. Um, at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card of being really busy. So again, make sure you break up the schedule. It's like you're doing the same thing all day, every day. Um, you need a change of schedule. We're very busy. We're very routine here. So spice up the routine. Pick something that you want and tell whoever that's what you want to go and do. 
Okay, the first card that we have for clarifiers is the Five of Pentacles. Um, the Five of Pentacles is a card of wanting to isolate. In general, this is just kind of, again, tying into that routine. It doesn't feel good. We feel kind of isolated because we're busy. So again, get out there, do something, break up the tradition, break up your schedule a little bit. The next card we have is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a card, how do I want to say this? With the Five of Swords, this can be communication issues, but I'm not saying you have communication issues, but again, this is communicating what you want. Again, I can't say it enough, if you don't say what you want, then the world is not going to know. So if you want to try a restaurant or if you want to go to a museum or whatever it is, just communicate it. At the bottom here, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is kind of low feelings. I think you're feeling a little burnt out and just mundane, trapped in the schedule. So again, do make sure you get out, break things up. I know you're busy, but still find time for yourself. Okay, Pisces, at this point, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. Bird News or Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the three of hearts. This is going to be a yes. Question number two is the jack of diamonds. This is number 15 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three is the six of spades. This is number 29 card. That's going to be a no. So yes, yes, no for you. We're going to pull a card from our healing stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of February. Your crystal this month is black turlamine, which is good for protection, relaxation, really good for body, mind, and spirit. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our healing note deck. Your healing note says, the only courage that matters is the kind that gets you from one moment to the next. Thank you so much, Pisces, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Um, I did also include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Pisces, and I hope you have a fabulous February.